So a couple months ago, I became the world's worst dad. Well, guess what? I just had a new baby. In, in this game. Not in real life. Oof. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Parenting Choices. Oh, there is my brand new baby. I'm gonna name this one. What was my last baby's name? Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. I literally forgot the name of my last baby. This is gonna be Marianne. Marianne the baby. Are they making Marianne's anymore? I feel like that's a name that only old people have, but whatever. Where should the baby sleep? We're gonna be the world's worst parents today, but we have to be good enough that the baby doesn't just die in the first year or two because then the game's over. Okay, um, the baby's gonna sleep in a box. Yep, we're not gonna be giving baby Marianne a crib. Hey, you know what? She actually looks pretty happy. Marianne actually looks very happy for a baby that's literally sleeping in a box every day. Let's put new wallpaper. Dogs? Cats? Nightmare-inducing clowns. Well, again, if I'm too bad of a parent, baby Marianne is gonna leave and go somewhere else and the game's over. So let's go with dogs. I feel like, I feel like all babies love animals. Okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time for baby to go to sleep. Turn on the nightlight. Light a small fire, leave the room completely dark. I always think it's funny that light a small fire is not the worst option. Like, believe it or not, leaving the room completely dark is apparently worse than starting a fire in your infant's bedroom. This seems like a terrible idea. If you guys want to see more games like this on the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now if you guys haven't already. Okay, we're gonna turn on a nightlight because I don't want baby Marianne to run away. Okay, so far we're off to a pretty good start. Should I change the diaper? Too expensive, use the diaper genie, or use reusable diapers? So if I click too expensive, does that mean that I bought Marianne one diaper for the rest of her life? Like she's gonna be two years old sitting in the exact same diaper that she is now? Do two-year-olds still wear diapers? Probably, right? Like. What age do you become potty trained? I, I don't know. Again, guys, I should never have a child, especially not right now, because I, I would be probably the world's worst dad. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go with the diaper genie, because I think the diaper genie's hilarious, even though I think I have to watch an ad if I want to click it. Okay, here comes the diaper genie. <laughs> it looks like the genie from Aladdin, and uh, baby Marianne loved it. Baby Marianne loves the diaper genie. Hey, if I was a parent, I would love to get a diaper genie. I mean, if, if I don't have to clean diapers myself, that sounds like a fantastic option. I would be willing to spend a lot of money on a diaper genie. Okay, what should I name the baby? Well, we already named her Marianne. Her name is Marianne. Okay, after my favorite color, after my favorite snack, after my favorite clothing brand. Okay, we have played this game before, so I've seen this question, but naming your baby after your favorite snack? Like, what am I gonna name her? Pretzels? Her name's literally- Hey, pretzels, come downstairs for dinner. We're having pretzels. <laughs> okay, uh, that was a terrible joke. Okay, uh, I don't know. I guess I've heard people named Blue before, like Blue's Clues. That seems normal. Or favorite clothing brand? Like, I- Oh my gosh, I don't even- What am I wearing right now? This is a Raphael Nadal shirt, so I'm gonna name her Raphael? Well, that's a boy's name. You know what? We're gonna go color. We're gonna name her Blue. She did not like that. Oh. Oh, she did not like being named after a color. Well, you know what? I'm still gonna call her Marianne because that's her name. Mother wants to go out. Call a nanny. Stay with dad. Or leave him alone. Um, I feel like leaving the baby alone is probably not a good idea. Staying with dad, who would be me in this scenario, might be worse than leaving them alone. I feel like leaving them alone is probably safer than leaving them with me. So we're gonna call a nanny? Okay. Marianne liked the fact that she did not stay alone with me, and baby Marianne just became one years old. I didn't kill her in a year, which is impressive. Okay, I get to choose a birthday gift for Marianne. One of them on the bottom I can pick and watch an ad, or the one on the top is free and I don't have to watch an ad. So I think you know which one I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the naked stuffed bear, which... Seems a little inappropriate for a one-year-old. Uh, Marianne's, 
Marianne is sitting here in her box, happy as a clam, by the way. Why is that a thing? I have, I, I'm just going to interrupt the video real quick. Happy as a clam. Like, are clams happy? I guess maybe the shell makes like a smiley face. But honestly, if I was a clam, I would not be very happy. It seems like a horrible life. Okay, let's move on to age one. Baby's already crying. Why is the baby crying? Oh, no. Baby is crying. Give them a bottle. Give them a bottle of mustard. Or give them a bottle of ketchup. Um... Well, I was going to name her Pretzel, so you know what? I'm going to give her mustard. I am going to give Marianne a bottle of mustard. She liked it? Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, obviously the game kind of said that Marianne didn't like it because all of, her, all of her numbers went down. But when I gave her the bottle of mustard, she looked happy as a clam. Okay, you know what? Teach baby a new word. Mine, no, or hello. Well, I don't want to kill Marianne already. She's only one, so we're going to go with hello. I feel like that's the right option. I actually almost hit the uh, the middle one, actually. She's crying again? Baby is crying again. What's wrong? You know what? This baby is crying a lot, and it's starting to annoy me. Again, proof that I should probably never be a dad, because I do feel like babies cry a lot in real life. Okay. Uh, check the diaper. Give the baby some money or spank the baby. I love this thing. I, and I said this last time we played the game. Baby Marianne's crying. She hasn't eaten in 300 hours because I've been watching her. I'm just going to give her 100 bucks. That'll make her happy. I mean, that would make me happy in real life if someone gave me $100. But I don't think Marianne wants 100 bucks. I think Marianne wants a diaper change or food. Okay, that was the right option. Baby is learning how to crawl. How will you help? Push them over. Ignore them. Encourage them. Okay, well, pushing them over just seems uh, illegal, I, right? I, I would say probably illegal. Ignoring them, honestly, I don't think that's that bad. Let them crawl on their own. You know what? I'm going to go with ignore them, you know? And I know it sounds bad, but I'm going to let Marianne learn how to crawl on her own. I feel like that's the thing to do. I feel like that is the thing to do. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I failed. I broke Marianne at the ripe age of one. Okay, here we go again. Baby's learning how to crawl. Fine. We'll encourage them. Go, go, Marianne. If you can't crawl, nobody can. Okay, let's go encourage them. Uh, she seemed to like it. You know what? I want a tough baby. I, I want to ignore my baby until it becomes tough and probably gonna have child services called on me with my mentality. Okay. Oh no, baby made a mess. Oh my gosh, I really hope that's not an exploded diaper. I think I said that before last time. Please tell me that is chocolate ice cream. For the love of anything, tell me that is chocolate ice cream. Although, why is it bubbling? Is it is it boiling chocolate ice cream or are those fart bubbles coming out of my baby's diaper right now? This is disgusting. Uh, clean gently or hit them with a fire hose. Fire hose, baby. That'll do the... Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's not a very fierce fire hose. And it actually worked. The baby is literally smiling and clapping. Why was that the wrong option? It is smiling and clapping right now. Fine. You know what? This game, it, it bothers me sometimes. Baby needs new clothes. Super guy. Bat friend. Keep it dirty. Honestly, it looks pretty clean to me. We just hit it with the fire hose two seconds ago. Fine, we're gonna go with super guy. Okay. What? Why didn't it like super guy? I feel like that was the right option. Okay, baby turn two. My baby is two years old and is not only standing on its own two feet, but now it knows how to dance. And you know what? It probably dances better than me. If you've ever seen me dance... It's ugly. I think I just played Friday Night Funkin' the other day, and uh, I was dancing. Uh, go back and watch that video if you want to see me dance, but you might have to wash your eyes out. Okay, look, Mom, I'm dancing. Well done, or stop that. Hey, and look at the little uh, video game thing in the background. It looks like a Super Nintendo or something like that. I don't know. Well done. Okay, now our mother is also dancing, and I think the baby's better than Mom. I think the baby's actually better than mom. Let's go on a trip to the mall, to the zoo, to the casino. That seems like a great option. Let's go with the casino. Baby didn't like that. Hey, baby, who doesn't like a little blackjack or poker? 
I love poker. I hardly know her. I had to say it. I had to say it. I'm sorry it was too easy to pass up on. I like poker. I, I like... Well, I don't really... I really don't gamble, actually. I used to go to the casino, and then I just realized that every time I went, I lost my money. So I stopped going, and now I... Don't lose my money. Seems like the way to go. Baby is throwing a fit. What do you do? Calm them. Yell at them. Ignore them. I mean, I could go in my entire little uh, dialogue about how ignoring them is going to make my baby tough. But last time I said that, I broke my baby at the age of one. So fine, we're going to calm them. What is the thing on the right? Like, I see the, the little bar on the left is brains. The bar in the middle is, I assume, love or maybe health. What's the one on the right? Is it like judgment? Maybe? I, I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments if you know what the one on the right is. Happy birthday, baby! Well, it's clearly not the baby's birthday because like at the end of every round, it ages up. But fine, we'll pretend like it's the baby's birthday. We could either give it books. Ugh. Candy? Okay. Or toys? Yes. I totally want toys. Did, did baby agree with me? Yes! Baby agreed with me. Who doesn't want toys? I mean, come on. I know books would probably make my baby more intelligent, but who the heck wants a book on their birthday? No, not me at least. What is my baby doing now? What is my baby doing now? Okay. Look, Ma, I'm a rapper. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm very confused here. I'm very confused. There is a rapper that I am thinking in my head. Uh, with a, a number and another number, uh, let's just, uh, fine, we're gonna, we're gonna say yes, we're gonna say yes, my baby is two years old and is gonna be a rapper, and apparently that didn't work, oh no, mom doesn't like it, so she's gonna cut the hair off, that baby just died with the markers, and now, oh my goodness, Okay, mom just made baby look like a 78-year-old man who lost his hair 15 years ago. You know what? I never did this before. I'm gonna go with the watermelon mask, even though I have to watch an ad for it. Okay! Um, baby really seems to like the watermelon mask. I thought maybe there was gonna be a little more there, but there wasn't. Okay. Baby thinks the fridge is mommy. Once again, I have done it again. I'm the world's worst dad because my baby is so dumb that it thinks its mom is a refrigerator. I I love my refrigerator. There's lots of delicious food in there. I never thought it was my mom. Oh my gosh, you know what? Um it's fine. It's fine. Baby baby is going to go on the rest of its life thinking that its refrigerator is its mother. Baby is playing with your car keys. I'll walk, take them back, trade candy for keys. Okay, so now we're bartering with our child. I'm gonna give the baby a tw Twix bar in return for my keys. I, I probably could just take them. Is there an option for teach baby how to drive? Yes, I know you usually don't start driving until you're like 15 or 16 years old, but my baby is so smart, even though it thinks its mom is a refrigerator, that I'm gonna teach the baby how to drive at the age of two. I guess that's not an option. Fine, I'm just gonna, I'll walk to work. I'm gonna walk to work. I'm gonna let the baby keep the keys. Why would that make the baby cry? That literally makes no sense. I let the baby keep the keys and it cried. Makes no sense at all. Baby's lonely. Um, we're going to teach him new things. It loved it. And the baby's turned three now. Don't forget to hit that subscriber button and check out my vlog channel, guys. TFG Vlogs. New vlog every single week. So go to that YouTube channel and subscribe right now. And I will see all of you in the next video. Let's all pray I don't have a third child.